It's been two years since I tried to grow jackfruit, the largest tree-born fruit in the world. And this is a success story because it really worked. Now, when you tell a story, you gotta start from the beginning if you wanna tell it right. Well, this is the story of our jackfruit plant that we grew in Canada, and there's something really cool that you can do with them. I somehow found this jackfruit for $10 at a fruit market. Usually they're way more. So I bought it, I ran home, I sprinted, in fact. And I got ready to get to work. But when I opened it, I didn't realize just how difficult this would truly be. First of all, jackfruits can reach up to 80 pounds, so they're huge and I really didn't know what I was doing here. Second of all, my hands got so sticky, it was not legit. I didn't know how to remove that. But this is all a learning process. And what I learned is that the jackfruit excretes an extremely sticky substance, like a latex, from the rind and the fibrous part of the fruit. You might even damage your utensils, but you can remove it with coconut oil. And when you open it, you might might want to use a big serrated knife smeared with some of that coconut oil and that's basically the only thing that's going to remove the sticky substance. It'll rid the stick. But it really does feel like sap on your hands and the only way to get it off is with coconut oil. From experience. But once you do successfully get it open, you can remove the seeds and germinate them on a damp piece of paper towel. The seeds, similarly to cacao seeds where chocolate comes from, have a milky sweet taste and they're often boiled and consumed. The fruit itself is sometimes used as a meat substitute or in desserts like ice cream or custard. And jackfruits are often confused with durian plants, but they're much tastier and a lot less stinky. I would know because I had the pleasure of opening a durian and trying to sprout the seeds inside. And needless to say, the jackfruit has my heart and the durian tastes like farts. Anywho. Once you remove your seeds and germinate them on a damp piece of paper towel, not Germany, but germinate, they'll start to grow little baby cute tails. Once they look a little something like this, you can plant them in soil and get yourself ready for your jackfruit plant to sprout up like a 13 year old boy going through puberty. It's a very beautiful experience to watch. But it really is such a beautiful porcelain plant. You do gotta make sure to repot it when it outgrows its pot. You might even see your stem start to turn a little woody. That is a very good sign. That means you're, you're a hardy plant parent. But winter in Canada was arriving. This made me a little nervous because I knew I had to repot this plant and bring it inside for the winter to sit under the grow lights. But don't worry, these plants would be winterized, which just means dipping the stem in dish soap with water to kill off any bugs or pests, and then it's ready to bring inside and live under your grow lights. Well, I thought this would be a great solution, and I was honestly just so proud of us that we didn't have the squirrels come and feast on our jackfruit plant for their families of 17, because on this channel, you already know that we have a rodent problem, and the squirrels basically infiltrate the dealer and find the supplier. But of course, that solution that I thought was great actually wasn't because the jackfruit plants slowly started to shrink and I was very confused but I knew that it didn't have as much sun as it truly needed to survive for about nine whole months from when I brought it inside it wasn't completely dying but all the leaves fell off there was just one little measly stem left but if you know anything about me in this channel I do not throw anything out lucky for us it's good that we didn't throw that out because the summer was here again. And what do you know? It started to grow back little baby leaves. It just needed a little bit of loving and some sun. Basically a human without emotions. I was still really nervous here because even though the leaves were growing back a little, there was no chance that we were gonna have a jackfruit here ready to go by the end of the summer. A little baby jackfruit from our plant. And I wanted, I wanted one. one. So since I thought that our plant was a goner, of course, you know what I had to do. I got another jackfruit so that we could actually make it survive this time and not just hope and this time the jackfruit piece was smaller I paid about $15 for this piece versus the $10 I paid for the entire fruit at the last market anywho I did the same thing I unraveled the seeds I got them on a piece of damp paper towel to germinate I used my coconut oil and soon they sprouted their baby tails I placed them in soil and I waited for my plant to grow three months to be exact well it grew and it did really really great all summer but the problem that I faced last year happened again the winter i'm working on my indoor greenhouse okay but until that happens and i figure out a steady way to grow hardy exotic plants in canada inside i didn't know what to do 
I was stumped. So I ended up cutting the plant. I got it ready to get winterized. This time I was going to keep the plant outside and come back to it next year. And if you're growing jackfruit at home instead of throwing out your plant, if you live somewhere like Canada or somewhere where there's not a hardy zone, know that jackfruit plants are perennials. They grow back every single year. They can continuously fruit for up to 60 years and the actual tree itself can live up to 100 years. So surely there should be no problem for us growing our own jackfruit. So either I'll see you in 60 to 100 years or we'll have our own jackfruit in just a couple of years. Okay. okay. But this is what the plant currently looks like for now. Summer is back and we're going to put the plant outside again. I am hoping it survives. I am hoping it grows back its leaves. And I'm praying to the plant gods that we can grow a mini tree that yields mini baby fruits one day soon. But the fact that we even got this plant was such a cool learning experience just goes to show. This was a tale of triumph. Starring the largest tree-born fruit in the world, I'm confident we will soon have our own 80-pound fruit on a mini baby tree growing in Canada in the winter. Thank you so much for coming along this journey with me. And learning about jackfruit. How to grow them, how to winterize them, how to keep them alive and save them from when they die. And just know, us plants are basically like uncomplicated humans without as crazy emotions. So, so make sure to give yourself water, fun, and love. Because you deserve it. So until next week where we take exotic fruits and grow them into full-blown houseplants, that fruit. Listen, if a jackfruit tree can fruit for up to 60 years and the tree itself can live for up to 100 years, then surely we will have no problem growing our own own fruit especially if we have 60 years for trial and error because on this channel you know that we try was difficult so either i'll see you in 60 so to 100 I'll years or we'll have a jackfruit by the end of this summer so stay tuned don't forget to follow don't forget to subscribe and just know that i love you i'll see you next week